Hey guys, Nate Wolf here. Fired for Truth, want to give you a little update on the studio remodel, which I'm very excited about. And uh, we're rocking some merch today. I got the Through the Black hat, which I'm very excited about. Uh, got this at uh, a conference in July in Ohio and uh, got to meet Thomas Dunn for the first time and bought the hat and he hooked me up with some merch. You might recognize this in the background uh, as an Emily Pittsford creation. Hey everybody, thanks for joining in. I just wanted to uh, kind of walk you through the studio update, which I'm uh, remodel, which I'm very, very excited about. So I'm gonna flip this around, but basically I'm standing in my living room and let me see if I can move this around here. Okay, so this, uh, if you've ever watched any of my videos or live streams, you'll notice when I'm sitting at my table, this would actually be to my left. So I never actually had a wall on the left. I had a, just a tiny, tiny bit of wall with a very large sliding glass door. Um, and so you always had issues of sound and things, you know, vibrating off the glass. And my oldest son, Harrison, who's, who's a pretty talented home remodel guy, uh, he used his tools and his expertise and uh, I helped carry some stuff and did a little bit of uh, the remodel, but he was really uh, the catalyst behind it. And for a very inexpensive amount of money, we were able to enclose this. So we also put, uh, we paid just a little bit extra for uh, fire and sound uh, rated insulation to really help with the studio. So no more sliding glass door. Wah, 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 wah. Actually, I'm kind of excited. Uh, but I'll walk you around and uh, tell you a little bit. We actually put, made a new door here, uh, which will be a door. Actually, it's just a pass-through right now. But that is for uh, the new flow back to the house. Now, this is, I'm standing in our family room. And I'll shut these doors here real quick. This is the view which used to just look into the studio. There was no wall or doors here. Again, this was... Uh, just an open area into the studio. I was using uh, basically the corner of a sunroom as my studio, but as you can see, uh, I've got these wonderful French doors. We actually borrowed those from another project. Uh, my daughter had a room. Here's the back of my daughter's room wall, but uh, she had the French doors here, and the boys would always pass through her room <laughs> to get to the back of the house, and uh, she was pretty upset about that. And so we fully enclosed her room. Uh, and so it's not the pass-through anymore. And I took the awesome set of French doors and the framing for the door and saved it and installed it. Uh, actually, my son installed it. I helped him. And we built walled portions on the other side. So now if you look in, you can see where where my studio backdrop is hanging is actually where the sliding glass door used to be. I'll open this up here, very excited. Some of you won't know this, but this right here is a partial wall, but mainly it's, it's all part of the sunroom, it's glass. That used to be where the backdrop, this backdrop right here used to be back there. Most of you wouldn't even have ever known that that was not an actual wall. So having this backdrop, over here and having a sliding door over here was kind of a problem because look at look at this beautiful view I have. It blocked the uh, backdrop, blocked the view. And over here is the other corner of the sunroom. And I usually had that uh, closed off as well. My desk, uh, my studio used to be over here in front of that. So I'll back up a little bit, but now you can see I've moved some stuff around and uh, I'll do a little bit of a 180 here so you can see. But this part over here that has the doors and then the walled portion on either side used to just all be completely open. So could you imagine uh, trying to do a any type of recording in a home with six people and two dogs <laughs> and a hamster? <laughs> and uh, sometimes that the sound was tough. But uh, now I don't have the sliding glass over here, I have the complete wall, which just needs to be textured and mudded and all that stuff. But for now, I've got this banner hanging up over here, the backdrop. 
I've got the beautiful uh, view of the outside. I can let uh, some of the natural light in uh, during the day, which helps me to be less of a cave troll. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. Got everything set up. So yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, wanted to share that with you. Got the Through the Black hat. Got my Jeremiah Dirt shirt on. I call it the Dirt shirt. <laughs> Hopefully he'll appreciate that. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you guys, this has been something that we have... Uh, We've been planning on doing for months now, but uh, we were just saving up a little bit extra money here and there, buying supplies cheap, uh, planning to reuse the doors, uh, for the French door. So, I mean, for a few hundred dollars, I basically have a new studio. And uh, Jennifer and I recorded our next video in the Life Matters series last night. We recorded it in the new studio, fully enclosed, I think the sound quality is much better. In fact, I was concerned about the mic not really picking up uh, the sound because I'm uh, using a little bit different mic setup, a little sturdier mic setup, and it was a little farther away from us than it normally is, and I was concerned about the sound. But honestly, I listened to the playback, and the sound is very good quality. So I will be uploading the Life Matters uh, uh, first video tonight on the new series, which is on parenting. So we're, we've done an intro uh, to the parenting uh, series as part of Life Matters with Nate and Jen, and I will be uploading that tonight to my YouTube channel, Fired for Truth, uh, assuming my channel is still on. As far as I know, it's still on now. It was this morning, uh, but it is December 10th, you know, dun, dun, dun. So we'll see uh, what happens. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys, and uh, you guys are my supporters, and you know, my encouragers, and so I wanted to share with you about the studio update. I'm very excited about it. Uh, making plans already uh, for the use of the studio throughout 2020, uh, if if the Father wills and uh, the earth as we know it is still here, uh, that's the plan. So thank you guys so much. Uh, keep keep informed. Um, if you're not already subbed to my YouTube channel, Fired for Truth, Fired F-O-R Truth, please do so. And also, if you're not aware of my website, in case anything goes down, I do have a website, firedfortruth.org, and my email and a bunch of other stuff is there on the website, but that's nate at firedfortruth.org, nate at firedfortruth.org, and of course, I still have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so plenty of ways to uh, get in touch with me. Some of you even have my cell phone number. Uh, if you have any of the like business cards, the Fire for Truth business cards that I passed out recently at any of the meetups or conferences I've been to, then you also have my email and phone number on there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for your continued support, prayers, encouragement. Uh, they are needed. They are needed daily. And uh, we keep marching on to the best of our ability uh, in faith and with your support. Love you all. Take care. See you later.